I'm gonna say, I know there's somebody in here. Jesus, there's actually two of them. Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game demo. This time we're playing the demo to Dead Beacon, which is apparently a kind of Resident Evil-like, where we're gonna be stranded on an island with a lighthouse, unsurprisingly, after our sailboat gets crashed. That's a lot of options. Okay, so you have a map, uh... You know what? Let's do the interactive map for now, and we'll have to see. So, oh, we can actually write notes and play stuff? That's actually really, really useful. So that's the canon experience, and then we have normal difficulty. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's just do the default. Go ahead and see. I think this game is slated... That's worrying. I think this game is slated to release sometime in, like, late October, I think is currently what it was. I think he's trying to release, like, October 28th, right around November. Or right around... Yeah, right around Halloween. So let's see. Check on the note. All right. New note found. and to read. Diary entry. This will be one of my largest trips at sea. Thank God I've taught myself how to move around. Seems as if I can always change the controls, and I need to remember there's not an inventory box, so I need to drop items. Okay, that's interesting. And take the spyglass. Use it on the tripod. Okay, where's the tripod? Up here? Ah, uh, here we go. Also, boy, this is dark as hell. What the heck? Why are we running in a boat in the middle of this type of weather? No, where are our running lights? We should not be out here. And this this boat is way too big for a single person, too. A boat this size needs at least a crew of two. Okay. Here, nautical spyglass to scrutinize greater distances. And what's out there? What am I looking for? That's concerning. Probably the lighthouse, right? What the hell? Wait, what? This is a laser? No, turn this boat around right now! What are you doing? Oh, well, okay, so at the very least it seems like it doesn't... The laser doesn't hit us, luckily. That's good, it would suck to, like, get cut in half by a laser. Alright, okay, so we're on the beach. Well, that was, uh... You know what? That was actually nice and straightforward. I kind of liked that. I think, what was it, uh... What was it called? The... Was it called The Keeper? Actually, I think... Yeah, it was the game both a dude who's like a lighthouse operator with the big... Lighthouse with the iron chain linked to like a spiky collar. Hello, random grave. Yeah, I think it was that one. I think that one had like a nice intro because it set up a story, but that actually... I do remember thinking that it took a little bit too long to, like, get back to starting. The heck's with all this stuff? Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the developer actually had to change the name of the game. Yeah, I think they had to change the name of the game to The Pale for some reason. Which is a little bit of a shame, but hopefully they, uh... Hopefully they kept up the work on the game. I'm really looking forward to that one, too. Locked. Maybe there's another way in. Maybe there's a nice creepy, uh, creepy symbol on the door, too. Oh, yeah, here. Let's go ahead. Let's go break into the random building. Hopefully this isn't somebody's home. Okay, what are you? A lead pipe. I... Do I just drag you into my equipped item? Oh, okay. Oh, alright, so this is a... <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry, this is actually just way too funny. Oh, and look, yeah, we have, uh, I didn't even realize that we had like a... Oh, my god, hi. We have a limit to our flashlight. All right. Oh, that's interesting. So we have to... Oh, med patch. Hang on, what is that? Patched coagulating solution to restore some health. My status is currently perfect. Well, I'm not a narcissist at all. The heck happened to you? Oh, you're totally gonna come to life. Also, that's not really how you hang somebody. That seems like a really cruel way to kill someone, because you're basically, like, crushing their... What is it, crushing their Adam's apple into their throat? Yeah, that just seems really mean. Oh, that's actually solid. I expected there to be something in there. Alright, another note. Forrester's note. I don't know what's happening lately on this island, but something vile is going on at the manor. The lighthouse has always stood as a warning finger above its roofs, but now it seems to have a will of its own, and it beckons me. I will avoid looking at it from now on. To make it worse, the islands and natives' wolves are limiting themselves to the south area of the forest, now dare to get closer and closer to the perimeter of the manor as if something is calling them. 
On the last raid, I had to flee to the beach, and in my haste, I left my hunting rifle in the old cabin. I should come back for it. You know, I find that really interesting. Like, you know, that, that, that seems to be a thing a lot in horror games and stuff like that, where it's like, oh yeah, you know, I was I was fleeing and I left my gun behind. And maybe it's just because I'm the weirdo paranoid militia nut job type. But like, if I suddenly got an alert that was like, hey, flash flood, you gotta fucking go like now, I would at least grab my pistol just to have something to defend myself with just in case, as well as, like, some other supplies. Oh, hello. All right. Uh, okay, hang on, I'm gonna move. I wanna try to get back. Okay. Boy, this is a rather lackluster combat system. All right, God, that feels so weird to have to, like, charge it up, yeah. Because if I just, like, tap the button to do a normal thing, you can't move. Hello. Oh, hey, another med patch. Nice. Yeah, that feels really weird. Okay, I have a simple key. Is that... A simple key that looks like it's about to break. Boy, that would really suck if the key broke off in the lock. Well, then again, I guess I could always crawl out the window, right? Yeah. Okay. No, actually, I'm kind of getting a little bit of vibes of, uh... Oh, what was... Was a Nightmare of Decay? Was that the really, really good, like, very obvious horror homage game about being stuck in this nightmare realm or something like that? I think that was. Actually, I, I want to check something. Hang on. Options, settings, graphics. Oh, there's no get rid of filter option. Oh, no. I've been playing The Fridge is Red recently, and it has a filter like this, and it's just... I just hate it. <laughs> Hello. The heck? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right, actually. Like, a month or two ago, I tried to play this, and this game crashed my PC. God, okay. I was wondering why this, like... I, I didn't remember any of this. I was just like, huh, I seem to recall something about a bow and something about, like... I, I seem... Oh, no, I remember. Yeah, when I first started playing this, I, I think I got to, like, here. I think I got up some of those stairs. Yeah, that's right. I think I got up those stairs, and that's where the game crashed. Or my PC crashed, rather. Um, but no, I think in the the first time I played this in that first house, I actually ended up getting pinned in the corner. Hello? A gold coin. What the fudge? Okay. What is this for? Lock is jammed and cannot be opened. Oh, hang on. Do I need to... Here, let's, um... Oh, well, actually, I wonder something. Can I... Yeah, okay, we can do that. Oh, that's actually really nice. All right. Huh. Anyway, yeah, when I was attacking the guy inside the building, um, I ended up getting kind of wedged in the corner, and I think he almost killed me. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that actually really made me angry. Yeah, because, like, this, this system here, I think I just kept backing up trying to hit him because I expected, like, two hits to kill the enemy. And then it ended up taking, like, four or five, I think. Okay, pistol ammo. Nice. I did see a dude in, like, a... Some sort of a get-up over here. Armed with a pistol. Looks like he's wearing some sort of, like, a ranger outfit. Okay, hello. Oh, inventory slots increased. Okay, that was from something called Nest. Oh my god, hi. Alright, you know what? I should probably make sure I'm walking around with my uh, flashlight on, shouldn't I? Okay, how the heck did... Where, where were you? Here, let me, uh, I need to try to, like... Okay, I, I actually need to, like, learn the, the range for the enemies. Yeah, I need to learn how much range my weapon has. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say the combat itself is kinda lackluster. Can I break these? Let's see, giving him a few whacks. Nope, alright. Or maybe if I can, I need to use something heavier. Yeah, okay, so the co yeah, the combat is kind of lackluster. It's a basic pistol belonging to a guard. And it looks like there's... How many rounds in the magazine? Two, three, four, five, six. Looks like 12? 14? 13? Something like that? Yeah, okay. And there is no... 
There's no ADS. There's no aiming down the sights. All right. Well, that's good to know. Of course, it's a frickin' 1911, but... You know what? Nothing is perfect. Oh, I thought for a second, like, I saw that old line. I thought there was a door, but no, it's like a shipping container. Oh, that's interesting. Hang on. So it looks like... It looks like we have... It looks like I have unlimited stamina normally. Until maybe... Oh, is this like Nightmare of Decay then, where... You have unlimited stamina until, like, enemies are hunting you? Yeah, hang on, let me... You know what, here. Yep, yeah, it is. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I, I really liked that as a system. Um, because it means... Oh, God, what the hell? Oh, hey, look, I just got munched on. Yeah, I actually really like that as a system, though, because it, it does mean that when you're running back and forth trying to explore stuff, you're not being punished overwhelmingly. And I probably can't break you either, right? Um, but yeah, you're not being punished, like, too much. Which is really, really nice. Yeah, it, it encourages exploration, because otherwise, you know, it's like, Oh, sprint for five seconds, then, uh, sprint for five seconds, uh, it just sucks. It, it just makes, like, going back and forth really freaking miserable. Okay. Oh, this one isn't locked. I actually expected you to be locked. And this is the Northwest Garden. Alright, so here's the exterior. So that's a locked door. There's not really anything there, and there's nothing here. So that's the sh- Oh, I bet I probably could've looked at this ship, couldn't I? But the ship is currently wrecked. And there's not really a lot of stuff to do anywhere, is there? Yeah, okay. Not a whole lot going on. Did I ever interact with the thing that was in the, uh... Did I ever interact with that weird shaped object? I don't even remember anymore. God, my memory is going like crazy. Okay. Hey, here, let's take a look. What are you? Lock is jammed and cannot be open. Alright, gonna really quickly just draw a big X through you. That is a really nice way of doing it. If you're not gonna, like, automatically fill in the thing for the player, kinda like, uh... Actually, no, that's a, that's a really good way of doing it. I, I think this might be one of my favorite... Sign reads interior garden... And it's locked here. Let me, uh, really quickly, I wanna... You know what I'll do? I'll just do, like, a single slash through locked doors, and X's will be jammed doors. Um... But yeah, like, I remember the Resident uh, Evil games. Hello? You're the same creature as... Before. What the heck? Four pieces of meat? So there's shotgun ammo, 45 ammo... And a pouch. Hmm... Anyway, yeah, like, the first Resident Evil, you know, it had, uh, it had the map that, like, did kind of look like these. And this, but whenever you interacted with stuff, it wouldn't actually mark them with what you needed. And I think having something like this is probably the way to do it. Okay, so you're locked from the other side. Let's just put a little slash through you as- actually, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna bother with a slash there. But yeah, that's, uh, uh fine. Probably the way to do it, I think. Because otherwise you end up just, like, really frustrating the player. Here. Let's grab you. Oh, fudge. Okay, I need to... Damn it, you bastard. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to try to get away. Yeah, that, that definitely looks a lot like the, uh... The thing in the window down there really... Oh, you fucker. Yeah, the thing in the window there really does look a lot like the, uh... Whatever the creature was that, like, asked for human heads. In Nightmare of Decay. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Come on. Here, let, let's back up a bit. God, and that really sucks, too, that when enemies grab you, you can't even, like... Oh, Jesus, that only gives me, like, 10 or 15% health? My god. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, those eyes look like the same type of creature. Was this made by the same developer? I would really hope not. Because this game is very, very frustrating in a lot of ways. Huh. I'll, yeah, I'll have to go ahead and take a look and see. Man, that would be really disappointing, because Nightmare of Decay is, like, really, really great. I have put a lot of time into that after the, after the videos. Um, I don't know about... Yeah, I think I would feel very disappointed if they decided to, like, shove this ugly-ass filter over everything for their next game. 
that would feel like a significant step backwards. Like, actually, I'm curious, for anybody watching this, does anybody think this looks good? Like, oh, I can kind of see it here, but like, when you look over here, it's just like... It's way too... over-contrasted? Yeah, it just... Yeah, I, I don't know, I just look at this and I feel like it looks like dog ass, but... Maybe somebody else out there is like, oh no, Boundless, this is a really good -a look. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so that's... Come on. So that's locked there. Yeah, may as well draw that there. So I got a few things down here. And you know what, since I did take a couple of good smacks from enemies, I might go ahead and, uh... Ooh, hello. Okay. I don't seem to have a crouch button. Um, yes, yeah, so I've taken a couple of good smacks from enemies. I may go ahead and I may... I may actually try to shoot some of these guys. Uh, can I just make like a K? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's kind of cool. So let's see, what about you? What do you require? Well, you require nothing. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Yeah, because that was the save point. I'm just stupid. Alright, fair enough. I keep expecting one of these to open up and have like a freaking dog come out and bite me in the dick or something. It's just a big picture of a deer. What a strange picture to have on the wall. Notes, otherworldly note one. It said that when a zombie raises its arms, its reach and speed increases, so the more dangerous to- That explains it, okay. So I need to watch out for when they raise- Yeah, I wondered about that. Yeah, I wondered if that was the case. I wondered if that was, uh... Hello? Uh, Aya Cthulhu, Aya Dagon, Aya Aya, something Ragazengaro? I don't remember the whole thing from the Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth game. Actually, yeah, I think what I, what I had to go back and like replay a whole bunch of that because of the uh, because of the bugs. I actually, I, I believe I did. Come on, I believe I actually could have almost like completely repeated the entire damn game at that point. Okay, so there's the save room, and let's just draw a little pentagram there. Perfect. And let's see. Okay. Come on. God, we... Will you fucking go down already? You know, honestly, I kind of feel like this should stagger them more, too. But... Anyway, yeah, when I had to replay Dark Corners of the Earth so freaking much because of just how bugged out and... What the heck? Oh, is that like a go upstairs prompt? All right. Yeah, because of how bugged and stupid it was, I, I'm pretty sure I could have actually just completely, like, repeated that entire sequence whenever he does the prayer or something to open up the portal he was doing. Okay, hello. So what do we got? We have... Oh, is this a puzzle? Hang on. Looks like we have to get to... Okay, so that goes down there. What a strange puzzle. All right. Uh, this goes up and right, maybe? Is Yeah, I'm assuming it's, like, about the light sources. Ooh, hello. And what are you? Oh, you're the garden key. Yeah, that's right. I think outside. Wasn't there an interior garden area or something that we could go to? Yeah, and what's upstairs? Probably just gonna be, like, full of dogs and bees. Some sort of weird hybrid birthed from hell. Okay, you're locked. You are not, though. Okay. Okay. Ah, fucking A. Alright, you know what I think it's time for? I think it's time for Mr. Pistol. I also think it's time for me to get the heck out of here and hope that he resets his position so I don't end up getting, uh... I don't end up losing anything. I don't end up with something getting bitten off that matters to me. Okay. Okay, so see, the pistol... The pistol does stagger them. And it really only does as much damage as like a fucking... It's really only as good as just hitting them with a pipe? What kind of weak-ass pistol are we using? What the fudge? Okay. Yeah, I wondered if there'd be something in there. This felt like an area that would have hostels. Oh man, that's disappointing. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's, uh... No reason to go back into there, so I'll just go ahead and I'll just kind of scribble over that room. Let's keep on looking. What's... what about you? 
Oh, I can definitely see myself accidentally clicking on that thing to go downstairs. 100%. Okay, well there's a med kit at least. And then yeah, I'll probably open up that and then I'll get my ankle grabbed by some sort of a monster and I'll be like, ha ha, I got you, mother trucker. And I'll just be very, very sad. Yeah, here, let's go ahead and close you out. Uh, what about you? Wow, there's actually a lot more open doors than I expected for a... Like a classic survival horror like. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, for God's sake, really? I'm gonna say, I know there's somebody in here. Jesus, there's actually two of them. Come on. There's... Yeah, this, uh, this combat really isn't particularly satisfying, I'm gonna say. It's... Yeah, it, it just kind of feels very... lackluster. Like, I think, uh... Again, I keep on comparing it. Maybe it's just, like, because of the aesthetics and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, this... Nightmare of Decay, I seem to recall the knife and stuff when you used it. You had, like, a decent chance of staggering enemies. Like, it, it was viable to basically play the entire game with only the knife. Actually, come to think of it, I think there is an achievement in the game that I have for beating it with just melee weapons. Although, I think I may have gotten the, uh... I think I may have gotten, like, the special machete weapon that they use. Oh, fuck off. Oh, and the really, and I, okay. Uh, and then they, yeah, they, they hit you with the health loss as soon as you get grabbed. Oh, man, that's disappointing. But anyway, yeah, I, um, oh, so your jam that can't be open, okay. But yeah, I, I think I might have that, or that might be one of the only achievements I have left to get. But still, yeah, it's, um, yeah, very much like a, the game does enable the player to actually beat it with only melee weapons, and this one, I don't think that would be viable. Hello, buddy. Let's look around. Well, okay, let's... I'm just gonna hope that you're, like, a normal asshole. Okay, yeah, so see, there, there is the chance to just, like, bonk them and stagger them. Yep, and of course, because they have, like, this weird extended reach thing. Okay, can I... Oh, okay, so they, they do lower their arms. All right, fair enough. I, I guess I just, like, hadn't seen it yet, so I kind of figured that as soon as the RNG hit that they wouldn't put their arms down. There's really nothing there. Huh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. What's down in this way? My god, there's a lot of places to explore. There is a lot more to this area than I expected. Should I go out to the garden? I feel like I should probably go out to the garden, right? But at the same time, who likes to go that way? So, where even am I? See, I went up the stairs there. And then I... Yeah, I guess I've kind of looped around to, like, other areas, right? Yeah, here, let's, let's just keep on exploring this place while I'm here. Okay. So which one of you is going to have a bastard zombie in it? Pro I mean, there has to be one, right? Okay, that's a coin. You? Yep, called it. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just grab that. I'm going to get the fudge out of here. I don't think there's anything else worth even going in there for. Although, actually, hang on. I just want to check one thing. I want to check these other lockers. Yeah, no, screw this place. I'm not going back in here. There's no reason to. Oh, I bet he's guarding something, though, probably. Ah, damn it. Well, you know what? Let's... Ooh, okay. Okay, we actually have our first, like, special key. Um, this was a raven, I believe? God, it's really hard to draw accurately with a frickin'... Oh, and that's actually weird. Hang on. There's like a... Th there's a door right here that doesn't show up on the map for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll come on back later. Let's keep going. Lock is jammed. Lock is jammed. Door is open. Okay. Yep, and one of these... 
Oh, hello. So I don't like the fact that he's already growling. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what? There's like a critical chance on the headshots? Okay, you know what? Honestly, if that's something that's like relatively doable for the player... Yeah, if that's something that's actually like realistically able to be done... Uh, I will I will take back some of the flack I was throwing at this game. Oh. Hello. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? I'm taking out Trusty the shotgun here. Hey, guys. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Can I reload you? What the fuck? I... Okay. I... Definitely reloaded you, but... Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna get... Oh, that that's actually fucking infuriating. That is bullshit. All right. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Let's see if this goes better this time. Also poked my head in here. There were just a couple of shotgun shells on top of the toilet tank, so... Nothing too big of a deal. But, uh... I'm actually just gonna blow some of my pistol ammo here, see if I can... At least soften these assholes up a bit. And then I'm gonna switch to Trusty the Shotgun so I don't get frickin' screwed like last time. Yeah, that, that was genuinely kind of infuriating. But, oh well, is what it is. So, let's uh, go ahead and reload out. I know I have a few spare shells. I swear this is the same game. This is either the same game, or the same developer, or... The only alternative I can think of is that this might use, like, the same assets, because I'm 90% sure that this is the pellet rifle from Nightmare of Decay. I I'm, I'm almost certain. Yeah, I don't know. A am I crazy? Like, okay, obviously I'm crazy, right? But I'm literally playing video games or talking to myself like a nut job. But at the same time, like... I really feel like there's some... Okay, you're locked from the other side. Let me just really quickly mark you off, and then uh, I'm just going to shade out all of this trash. I swear that these are... These must be using the same models or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to know if any of you guys are more familiar with this. Uh, I'm going to have to go double check and see on the developers and the... Uh, the assets used and all that, because it feels so familiar. I don't know, maybe I'm like, maybe my memory is just off in this game because it kind of looks similar. Maybe it is different, I don't know. Yeah, alright, let's go ahead, let's go, uh... Yeah, I actually did make a... I made a quick third save after doing about half of the upstairs when I was going, because I wasn't gonna get myself frickin' killed and then have to redo all this. So, let's go back up, let's go see what... Go see what's down the other stairway, then. And I know, I know, it's like, oh, there's the garden, but I don't really care. Also, I did find this up here. Apparently there is a, uh... There's a trap door in the ceiling, but I need something to open it. Apparently the little pull string is either just out of my stumpy little T-Rex arm's reach, or... Maybe it's locked? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Let's head on down. Let's go see if we can go make ourselves some more friends. Okay, well, first things first. How about the front door? the heck? Oh, there's gotta be... What is that down there? Yeah, it's like this weird, like, skeletal-looking creature. I probably shouldn't mess with this, but... Yeah, let's just kinda go, let's be methodical. Let's just go look room by room. Okay, we have big jars of mayonnaise. There's a rose symbol. And that's locked from the other side. Here, let's go really quickly mark these. So that's a rose. Oh, it kind of sucks that I chose the, uh... I'll just put F for flower. And that's just locked. Yeah, it kind of sucks that I put the, uh... The R for raven. Oh, maybe, maybe it's gonna be all just R-based words then. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the weirdest thing that I've seen in a game like this. Okay, so you take nine bullets to kill. 
Yeah, he shoots like some sort of weird, some sort of like weird monster. Yeah, it's like very skeletal, very drawn out. And the fact that the chopping just stopped is concerning. Ooh, hello. Found another coin. Why did the chopping just stop? That's horribly unnerving. Okay. Okay, maybe that's just like, maybe I got far enough away that the audio cue stopped. Yeah, whatever's going on behind there, I don't think I want to know. I, mean, I just don't think I really want to see. I think whatever it is is going to be a problem. What the heck? Like somebody walking around up top? Or is that somebody banging on the glass? Oh. Oh, wait, I'm here? Oh, okay, that's kind of nice. Wait, what? I just unlocked the door. What the F? Did I not just unlock the damn door? Ah, uh, okay. That, that, that's also very frustrating. Why even give us the option then? Why not say like, hey, this door's gonna lock before you go through? What a weird system. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go back up and around. I want to go see what's down the other way. Boy, that is like genuinely kind of infuriating. Also, I'm wondering, why do I have two garden keys? Is it like, are both paths potentially valid, maybe? Is it... Is it that I can go both ways to get to what I need to get to? That's... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll have to go ahead and see. Or maybe there are just two because the developer, like, didn't expect people to take both routes, I don't know. So yeah, this should be... Uh, I'm just gonna say F and U. Okay, that's basically what that door is. That's the F U door. All right, and this door is just locked, so this was a complete waste of time. Well, I think I got everything in here, though. Although that, that really looks like it's something I can actually go in and explore. You know what? I have a shotgun. I did just save. And how much ammo do I have for the shotgun? I only have two spare shells. Okay, I can't seem to do anything there. And I just want to double check this too, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Got like all these weird containers of stuff. Yeah, okay, so this really is just a... This is just like a spooky room to add tension. That's actually kind of neat though. Alright. And it does look like there is a... Oh, there's the door. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like it really isn't. That's a neat little area, though. Just kind of adds tension. I wonder if, like, when we come back there with the rose key or whatever, if... Yeah, if we're going to get attacked there. All right. So who's going to have spawned in to wreck my day? Also, what's the deal with the things of meat? Yeah, that is very, very weird. You know what? Let's grab these. Not enough valuables, stranger. Oh, uh, you know what I wonder? I call those meat, but like... Yeah, does that not look like just like four slabs of flesh? But I wonder if they're like four rubies or something like that, you know? Here, let's go see. Can I use you? Door unlocked, okay. So maybe there's like another gate that we can unlock later. Hey, puppers. Boy, huh. Red-eyed hellhounds, that's, uh... That's concerning. Are those even hitting? I don't think so. You know what? Probably should get out the shotgun just to be safe. Yeah, are those? Can I really not, like, shoot the dogs? What the heck? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, like, did I just... Hmm. Oh, come on. Nope. Back off. Screw off. Go away, Fido. Oh, come on. Oh, I think I'm gonna freaking die here, aren't I? Yep, let, let's go back inside. I'm gonna go heal, and I'll go take on back there with the shotgun. All right. Yeah, like, don't go wrong. I, I really like this game, and I love these survival horror likes. Um... But man, yeah, the, the combat really does feel lackluster. 
the hell's flapping in the breeze here? Is there just like a really big bat just chilling out? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, there actually is some giant creature flapping up there. Okay. I kind of said that as a meme, but all right. Holy Christ. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. Wow, all right. Huh. That was actually really kind of cool. Yeah, okay. Here, let me get out Trusty the pistol again. Actually, how much am I doing for ammo? My god, I actually have quite a bit, don't I? Okay, so it looks like 40 is the stack. Come on. Oh, that is weird too that it doesn't like stack. Oh, it's, it's because these are inventory slots. And locked the sign reads interior garden. And then that door is unlocked. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I genuinely, like, didn't notice the giant flapping thing up there. Alright, well, let's keep moving. What do we got? Hey, buddy. Yeah, come here. Come here. There we go. And then you're gonna give me another coin. So I wonder how many... I still have two more. I wonder how many of these, like, little purchase areas there are gonna be in the main game. Because I really do like that as a mechanic, to have, like... Even if it's something that doesn't really ever get explained, per se... Just to have this area that the player can go and be like, Hey, here's these little collectible items that you've gathered. Yeah, feel free to go ahead and use them to go, like, get little upgrades and little bonuses and stuff that... ...you might not have otherwise, you know, gotten access to. That, that is a cool way of doing it. Especially if you're able to integrate it so that maybe it allows the player to get the items earlier rather than later, too. Hang on, is there a... Yeah, I was looking over, there's something there, but I bet that was blocked off. Um, but anyway, yeah, just like having this... Okay, this is locked from the other side. This is graded. It blocks off, okay. You know what, here, let's go really quickly mark these down. So, you're closed off, I'm just gonna try to draw like a little Im... Wow, that's... Oh, there we go. That looks like a great, good enough. Yeah. Uh, what was I ranting about? The oh, yeah, just having, like, you know, uh, maybe we can go ahead and use the items to, like, maybe buy an extended magazine for your pistol, or something that increases damage, or something like that, and it allows you to get it a little bit earlier in the game than you otherwise might get it naturally. That's a really nice way of doing, of rewarding player exploration. Yeah, I, I like that quite a bit. Okay, so this is open. Let's see, are there any... Uh, there are grates and stuff. There are... there is a door here. The wall is recently built. An explosive device should break it. I bet you just moved the grate, didn't you? Oh, Christ! Okay, we're leaving. Get out of here, get out of here. Fuck off. No, shoot. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, because enemies... Oh, that is such fucking bullshit. Oh, God, okay. Alright, anyway, be back in a minute. Okay, I'm instead of, uh, instead of going through the hell door to open the grate, kind of want to go, oh, for God's sake, are you kidding me? There's a frickin' save right in here. Oh, that's mm, boundless, you idiot. This is what I get for just kind of being methodical, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, all right. I did actually manage to save a little bit of ammo in some ways, but also I think I ended up a little bit worse off for the pistol, because, uh, I was really trying to shoot the dogs to see if I could bait them in early. And the game was just like, ha ha, what do you think you're doing, scrub? Yeah, okay, wait, there's a simple key. I, ooh, I could use another med kit. No, no, no I'll, I'll wait for these and I'll just see. And then there's like a, so yeah, so there's like a red and blue gem set around here too. Weird. So let's take a look. What, uh... Okay, so this is a sun symbol. Let's really quickly draw a very, very bad sun. God, you know, anyone who here who has, like, any artistic talent is probably stroking out right now because of how awful my artwork is. Oh. Hello. Oh, really? There's, like, a full medkit, ammo... Okay. Hang on. So what is this, then? 
Uh, let's go to notes. Shooting range. Welcome to the shooting range. Unlock the prize by earning the highest score. Each shooting range can be done with a particular weapon with infinite ammo. Headshots give extra point. Blue going wolves give extra time. Interact with the lever when ready. Oh. Oh, that's actually really cool then. Okay. So I need to get at least 150. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. Alright, so it looks like three per enemy. God, I really wish there was a way to, like, make my... Yeah, to make my, uh... My aiming sight do better. Or, yeah, my, uh... I guess I'll just say, like, my aiming time, probably. Fudge, okay. Yeah, shooting the wolf is gonna be tough. Alright, so there's the 39. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, actually, I think, uh, this is actually a kind of cool way of doing it, though. Like, I know in the, um, again, like, I, I hate to keep bringing it up, Nightmare of Decay, that was a, yeah, the game gave you, like, what was it, the pellet rifle or something for it? Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, it gave you the pellet rifle for it, but the problem is, is that it didn't really shoot the same as any of your other tools in the game. Yeah, it was kind of like its own weapon. So you ended up having, like, to kind of learn how the gun shot normally. Alright, I don't like the fact... I was gonna say, I don't like the fact that I'm seeming to run out of time here. You know, I'm actually wondering how important having the full med kit really is gonna be for me. I mean, given the fact that I'm apparently doing terribly at this is probably a sign that I'm gonna frickin' need it, but... Yeah, okay. Well, here, let's go see. Okay, well, at least I got a hundred. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably come on back here and try that out later, but... Or actually, you know, maybe in, like, the full game, maybe I'll go ahead and give this a try. Yeah, okay, you know, that's not bad. Maybe I could come on back here if there's any way to, like, upgrade out the guns. Because, yeah, using the, uh... Using the normal pistol is kinda rough for this. Also, I'm, I'm sorry, how much? That is 31 minutes, and I have 53 minutes of recorded- Jesus Christ, did it actually take me like 20 plus minutes to redo all of that? Holy hell, okay. Also, I really like the fact that it does say the what are you buying line from the, uh... Uh, dude from Resident Evil 4. That, that is always a nice touch. Although I feel like it is a little bit overplayed at this point. Okay, we're gonna go pull you, and I'm going to try my absolute gosh darn heckin' best to get the heck out of here without, uh... Oh, are you fucking me? Okay, we're gonna just grab you quick. Come on. Eat a bag of dicks, game. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is infuriating. Yeah, no, actually, well, I guess, yeah, having to get back here twice probably would have done that, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, I, I can actually kind of see how how it would be in a position to have to use, uh, how I would have had wasted 20 minutes worth of gameplay. Okay, I, I can see that. Well, let's go ahead, let's go pull this a third damn time, and let's go see if I don't frickin... Yeah, let's go see if I can maybe at least, like, deal with the, uh, deal with the crawling guys first. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. You know, I think, honestly, the thing that's, like, making me the most irritated with these things is just the fact that you have to, like, you can get attacks stacked, more or less. I really think that's probably the most frustrating aspect of that. Because, like, it, it, it really... It, I mean, especially in the right context, right? If you get attacked by one, you may as well just fucking kill me. Yeah, like, like if I got... If I had one more little bit of health, and then an enemy decided, Oh, hey, we're gonna go ahead and, like, you know, attack Boundless, and... Then another guy is basically walking up towards me. All you're doing is you're making this take longer to kill me. And, like, that's just really, really frustrating from a gameplay perspective. Yeah, so... Maybe that would be something else to rework. If you're gonna let the player get grabbed, don't let enemies, like, stack attack them and give them a second or two of invulnerability so that they can get the hell out of there.
Yes, I want to buy this. I don't have this stupid vignetting going on. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think that would probably be one of my biggest things that I would point out with this game right now. Also, I, do, I did realize that I was starting, that I was using just the even-numbered ones, because I wasn't really paying attention to the number schemes, but, uh... Too bad. <laughs> yeah, for any of you who are suffering from OCD, my apologies. I'm probably giving you a serious migraine, but... Uh, yeah, that's just how I do things. Definitely noticing, too, though, that this, this is going to be a game that you really can melee your way through. Um, which is still disappointing. Like, even the Them and Us, which I just adored. Like, that might be my new gold standard for survival horror games. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I just... You can pretty much knife your way through almost every enemy in that game. And you can get through it really, really effectively. So just, like, the fact that this game... I think having now experienced that, I think the fact that this game doesn't let you is even more of a letdown. Because it's just such a nice little touch. But yeah, like, if I... You know, if I was playing this and, you know, maybe I had... Maybe the RNG had been a little bit less lucky and, you know, I I had gotten, uh... I had run out of ammo, like, you may as well just reload a save at this point. Because trying to fight some of these things in melee is just going to be an exercise in frustration and pain. And I think that's kind of a bad... That's probably a bad sign. Okay, well, I can't use you. Anything down here that I can grab? No. Still got the big creepy lighthouse. I'm wondering when the, uh... What the hell? Rifle ammo. Okay. Why... That's concerning. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna quick drop that. Ammo for the hunting rifle, really? Long range weapon that will pierce two foes. Oh, thank you for playing the demo. If you liked it, wish list dead beacon on Steam. Well, let's actually see something there. Now die. That's rude. What's going on now? Hey! Oh, yeah, okay, so we just, uh... Yeah, we just, we just get, like, railed by enemies, okay. Ah, fair enough. Now let me quick grab you as well. Let's see what I can go ahead and kill. Alright, yeah, you know, this is, uh... Yeah, okay. So there you go, so that was Dead Beacon. Um, this is a fun little game. It has a lot of... Problems, I would say. It, it really has a lot of stuff on there that, like, looking at it does make it exceedingly frustrating to play. Yeah. You know, this is not a bad way to end this, though. Ah! Yep, there we go. I just got munch. But anyway, yeah. Um, definitely does have a lot of things that make it kind of frustrating to, to play. The melee combat doesn't feel very good. The fact that, again, you can get attacks stacked by enemies. Yeah, it just, like... I, I hate this goddamn filter. I despise this filter. Please, developer, let us turn it off. I don't care if it's gonna make the game look bad, in your opinion, but let us turn it off. Because I know for a fact it's literally just a lens you're throwing over the camera. I know for a fact that's how you're doing this. Let us turn this off, please. Um, but, I mean, that being said, all of those issues aside... This has a lot of potential. I'm definitely going to be playing this on launch. I just... I, I think if there was a single thing that I could point to, it would be the filter. And then the second thing would be enemy attack stacking. Beyond there, this is not bad. This has a lot of potential. It's a cool idea. Um, I like the fact that it has like a drop everything inventory type of deal where you have to go around and... You know, pick stuff up and... You know, like, I could go leave all of my stash of supplies elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, just overall, this was a really good experience. I am I am excited for this game. It definitely gave me Nightmare to K vibes, and... I mean, I, I loved that one, so... Yeah, hopefully this will turn out well. This was, this was a lot of fun. Frustrations aside, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about the demo to Dead Beacon? What did you think the game did right? How did this compare against stuff like Them and Us, like Nightmare of Decay to you guys? 
Am I being too harsh in this game, you think? How do you guys feel about, like, the attack stacking? How do you feel about the, the stun lock animation stuff? Do you kind of get where I'm coming from, or did this... Or, like, am I just missing something with this game's design? I'd love to know. And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate it. And for everybody else, thank you very much for watching the demo to Dead Beacon. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.